Hi guys, welcome back to my new video. I get lots of comment about the background image is not working, background image is not loading, this type of comments I get on the YouTube. So in this video, I will show you how to find your mistakes and fix those error. So first see the folder structure. In this folder, I have one HTML file and one CSS file. But you can't see the file name extensions right now. For that, I'll click here view and click here file name extensions i will enable this one and after that you can see index.html style.css and in this folder the folder name is images and in this folder we have the image called coffee.jpg so this file name extension also matters here after that i will open this file with text editor here i have added this div here in this body tag in this div there is a class name called header so in this div we have to add one image we will add one background image that will be displayed on the complete web page for that we have to use the same class in the css file so in this css file you can see i have added the same class name header with a dot because it is a class name so the class name should be same after that Let's see if I will add here background and let's write red like this. After adding this, if I refresh the website, you can see there is no changes. The background is still white. So first let's come back and here we will add height because without height and width there will be a zero height for the div and if we will add any color in the background that will be not displayed on the website so here i am adding height 100 vh and let's add the width of 100 percent so height and width is important and after that if i refresh you can see the background is completely red let me change it to triple zero it will be black like this and sometimes people don't add this code or make mistake in this one also so let me remove this one i'll remove this link tag and if i refresh you can see the background is not working so this link tag is important so just check whether you have added the link tag in the correct format link rel style sheet href and this is the file name it is the file name of your css file so the css file name is style.css as you can see here in this folder style.css so you should check this one also if the image is not working now let's come here in the css file and instead of this background color we will add background image so let me remove this one i'll write background image url and in this url we have to add the relative file path of the image so again come to the folder and you can see here i have this folder called images and in this folder we have the file name coffee dot jpg so we will add the same folder name which is images then let's add file name which is coffee coffee.jpg make sure you write the same folder name here it should be the same uh, case also lower case or upper case don't change it in this folder you can see the folder name is images it is in the lower case only it is like this and if I refresh the website you can see this image on the web page so this image is working fine let's come back and sometime people add some space here like coffee so never rename your file name like this don't put any space in your file name always write uh, dash like this or you can use underscore like this 
but don't put a space that will be better so let me remove it next we will add one color over this image to add one color here we will add linear gradient linear gradient and in this linear gradient we have to add two colors sometimes people add only one color and they think the image is not working but in the linear gradient we have to add two color so let me add red comma blue and after that we have to add one comma here before this url so here we have this linear gradient and after that one comma and then url and image file path let's see this gradient color on the web page now let's come back we can write this color in this format also rgb rgba and here let's add the code Zero point five. So this is the first color, and uh, let's add one more. With a comma, make sure you add one comma between both color. So we have added this black color with the opacity of zero point five. This is R G B and A four alpha, which is opacity. Here also R G B and this one opacity 0.5 now you can see a dark color black dark layer on the image sometimes people add comma here also and here also but it is not actually comma you should add point it is 0.5 opacity you can write any color code here and it is working fine now let's see the other problem Suppose sometimes people add this CSS file in another folder. Let me create one folder here. I will write the folder name CSS like this and I will move this file in this CSS folder like this. So right now here we have the HTML file and uh, one folder called CSS and CSS file in this folder. So in this case, if I refresh the website, you can see the background image is not working because the file path has been changed. So first we have to fix this link. Earlier the file path was style.css because the both HTML and CSS file was on the same directory. But right now it is in the other directory, other folder. So here we will add the folder name CSS slash style.css like this. So I have updated the CSS file path save these changes and if I refresh still the image will not work you can see there is a gray color gray color is coming because the CSS is working but the image is not working let's come back see this color is working that's why the background is coming gray but this image is not working because again the image file path has been changed so we have to fix the image file path so right now this css file we are writing code in the css file and css file is in the other directory other folder so we have to come outside of that folder for that we will add dot dot slash and after that let's go to the folder images then Let's add file name which is coffee.jpg. If I refresh the website again and you can see the image is working. So I think this is all you need to follow to fix your background image problem. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you still get any issue you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video